Greetings, Keisha Lanes. Keisha Prime here with my live reaction of Unordinary ch uh, episode. I caught myself. 209. Okay. There is no title because that's how this series rolls. So uh, we move on. Last uh, installment, we had, like, um, Serafina. She talked to Arlo. She wanted him to come along with the meetup with the people that tried to kidnap her and everything. So it's like, that's going on. John seemingly is much more on the warpath than normal to take down the safe house. And uh, Blake might be uh, committing a major crime with his latest notions. So, yeah. Okay, we start off, we're at the safe house. Okay, we've got those two kids that got beat up last time. Uh, or not last time, but they the ones that John beat up like a couple chapters ago. Alright, here we are. Okay, so they decided to check out the safe house. And it's Blake's turn on duty today. Or this time of the day. Uh, hey, it doesn't look very anti-John to me. So they've been hearing the rumor spread by Zeke. Because Zeke is kind of the main reason that John even thinks that. You're just feeding the mind of a, a bit of a megalomaniac in a way. I mean, John isn't the worst character. I mean, he could be far worse because, you know, he wants the world to change. And he's kind of getting it by being the a-hole. So, <laughs> uh, but yeah, he still doesn't quite like it because he just thinks it's all a facade. And also the trauma, the trauma of New Boston. It will live on in his memories forever because he had to relive it. Thanks a lot, dude, whose name I can't remember. Okay. But anyway, <clears throat> so yeah, they, they seem to be uh, thinking of the propaganda. Jeez, quit buying into all the, all the rumors. Eh? Like I said, it's just a quiet place to get work done. Okay, this coming from the guy who basically had his head busted. Like, every time that happens, it scares me. I'm like, is this going to be like the permanent death <laughs> of a character, you know? But, uh, yeah. Also, he has that stereotypical, like, anime bandage over the nose. Come on, I'll show you around. Oh, he's actually been here before, apparently. Okay. And uh, there's Blake with uh, his uh, ear pods. <laughs> Uh, earbuds, earpod, what is that called? Well, whatever. Um, anyway, he's doing some work while listening to the jams. Uh, hey, Blake. Oh, okay, he heard them. This is my friend, uh, Alden. He wants to give the safe house a try. Sure, welcome. And uh, I wanted to say thanks for uh, getting us out of trouble yesterday. Oh, and he's even like, oh, sorry, thank you. Oh, glad you're okay. Uh, well, anyway, everything here is pretty self-explanatory. Uh, do whatever you need, just be sure to not disturb anyone. Okay, got it. And he's like kind of like... Uh, this is a very large like classroom. This is like standard classroom, but it looks more like you could fit a, a decent-sized house in it. <laughs> um... Yeah, okay. Really? That's it? So he's just kind of looking around. I think he's, like, trying to find, like, the the whole, like, centrifuge to John's rule. <laughs> oh, look, Serafina and Evie. Uh, there's no catch. There's some people playing some card games. You just get to do whatever you want, and there's guy napping, girls playing some Tetris. He, he's just kind of shocked. Oh, shit. What's she doing here? Who the hell is she? I'm assuming someone like that John kind of keeps tabs with or something. So, Or is it his crush? Because he's kind of like I'm getting out of here, kind of <laughs> walking away. How can you, uh, can you be so calm? Hmm? 
So he's talking to his purple haired buddy. Don't you remember her? That's uh Talia. Aren't aren't you worried she'll Nah she won't. Okay. So I'm guessing she isn't like an informant to John or something? Or she's like beat him up in the past or there has to be some kind of thing like but I don't recognize her. Someone brought that up the other day. Okay, and there's ah it's when Remy had to break up that fight that was about to start. Remy and the rest of us discussed it, and everyone agreed to keep hands off other members, both inside and outside the club. Really? Yeah, I mean, when it comes down to it, we all want the same thing. Hmm? I guess that's true. Oh man, I didn't really want to, uh, to expect, so, or didn't really know what to expect, so I didn't bring anything to do. Oh, there are laptops back there. Help yourself. They just given the laptops out to use. Okay, when back when I was in school, like you had, like the teacher had to like sign up for that, and it was always in high demand. It was like a cart that was full of them, so that they could be charged and everything. Like half of them were dead, half the damn time. Uh, but it's like that. Here we are, just. Well, I guess this is like a prestigious school, so I guess it makes more sense. <clears throat> Whoa, they have everything here. Okay, he's going over to get a laptop, and we see the people playing cards again. You guys want to play something else? Okay, right. Oh, and he's now. Oh, that's the guy who's with him. I thought it was Alden. Um, uh, anything beats this game. I suck. Okay. Ever heard of New Texas Hold'em? Is everything just a real world, like, parallel? Like the Boston one, I was like, okay, that one could pass. But now we have Texas, and it's spelled with an I instead of an A. Uh, sounds kind of familiar. Oh, damn Skippy, it is. Uh-oh, what's Serafina alerted to? Yeah, this one's pretty simple. You'll get it. Uh, we each have two cards in hand, and we share five cards in the middle. Is that... I, it's been a while since I've played, so I, I'm not sure. She is very alerted to something. What? What is it? To win the round, you just gotta have the highest five-card combo. Is that Texas Hold'em? I think I'm thinking of poker. I think that's what I'm thinking of. But, uh, with the cards that you're given. Okay, now they're just kind of in the background. I think she she's sensing danger. Like, is, is John making his move? Oh, you, you gotta take out the Joker. Oh, no. That's, that's going to not be so great but hey mind if I join in oh she's she's actually going to play but what did did she pick up on the Joker line but that was said after she became like curious so I'm I'm confused there's something weird going on here uh sure Serafina thanks and she's sitting down with them Serafina, I didn't know you liked this game. Hmm? I don't know if she's ever played it, Evie. Well, I've only played it once before. A friend taught me. Oh. That was John, wasn't it? I think, I think we've seen that, actually. Since you're already familiar, do you want to be dealer? Sure, I'll give it a try. Alright, let's uh, get started then. Handed the deck and drawing her cards and... It's time to do -do 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 -do. play Texas Hold'em. Anyway. Whew. Okay. So, uh, Blake's done with his homework, I guess. He's standing up. Hey, everyone. I'm going to step out to use the restroom real quick. Uh, stay out of trouble, all right? Um, I think trouble's going to find you once they find out that there's no guardian. I mean, Serafina, to be honest is not any threat at all. John would probably wail on her, or Zeke for that matter. So it's like, 
she wouldn't be effective. Not to say that really any of the others are greatly effective against him, but there's more of a chance. <laughs> so, hmm. But this could lead to the confrontation that we, we want, to where maybe they can finally hash things out a little bit more. But, who knows. Anyway, so he's stepping out. He's at the bathroom. He's washing his hands. That's good hygiene. Even before 2020. Um, hand in his pocket. Uh-oh. He plans on taking out John. Oh, no. Hmm. I, I could actually see a pincer maneuver while he's fighting John, potentially, with the booster. Trigger? Whatever it is. Um, it, uh, that's also when Zeke goes to fuck with the club. But yeah, he, he's pulled out the, the vial. He's looking at it. Uh, what am I doing? Can't believe I actually brought this with me. Maybe I should just fess up and hand it over to the headmaster. And Okay, that that's better thinking. No sense in being a power-hungry druggie. Uh, okay, so, uh, Alden is, uh, like, kind of relaxing with the laptop now. How did you like it so far? Hmm, I think I could get used to this. <laughs> I might just come here during class, or during my free blocks from now on. I'm seeing the back of the room, and that worries me that we're gonna, like, we're gonna see the door open and somebody come in that we don't want seeing come in. Beats getting jumped, and that's for sh The door has been kicked open. I My suspicions were right. Um, uh, uh oh. Who? Oh, shit. It's both of them. God damn it. So, they're just kind of like, yep, I, I, I called it. I, I straight up called it. It was like it, John was going to show up as soon as whoever left. You yeah, know. But, yeah. Okay, he's seeing the Texas Hold'em gang. Game gang. Serafina stares him down. It's like, I will gambit you motherfucker with these two cards. Uh, he's like, she's here. Kind of look on his face. And are they actually going to play? Oh, he's remembering when he taught her how to play. Ah, yes, that, that was, that was when his dad visited. Yeah, okay. I, 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 it was kind of foggy to, like, when it happened, but yes, yes. At least the, the, the flashback does help with my memory a little bit. Ah, oh, it's John. He's here to beat us up. John's like, all I did was kick the door in. I wasn't coming to cr br crack heads. Or was I? And then Zeke's up in the background just be like, Crackheads! <laughs> He's the Kraken King! But anyway. Hurry everyone, get out of here! So they're all scurrying, so there's two doors to this room. Alrighty. He's just kind of like, hmm. Now he's thinking of uh, back in his middle school days. To make eye contact, he'll beat you up. Oh shit, it's John again. Run away. Monster. And that's in green, so that's Claire. Don't fucking move. One more step, and I'll make sure you can't walk for a week. Is this really how far you can get away with shit? I, it's ridiculous in this world. And they're all obviously scared to death. Ho oh, ho, wait a second. What the hell is he gone to? Isn't this place supposed to have a designated uh, supervisor at all times? Where are they, huh? It's Blake. Okay, so purple hair is like, he's here. He just he had to go take a piss. Or deuce. Or vomit. But at least he's washing his hands. But anyway. He'll be back soon, so don't get comfortable. Kid, I don't know what your power is, but you're gonna get trampled. Just like you did before, and to be honest, you 
not even completely healed now. So it's like, you don't stand a chance unless the collective help. And then that will trigger John. And things will not end well. Because they just don't. But anyway. Oh, uh, really? And Zeke's up in his grill. You sure he didn't just uh, run off because he doesn't care about you? N no, he wouldn't. What's your problem, Zeke? Why can't you just leave us alone? Dude, are you nuts? I mean, Alden has the right notion there. I mean, you, you're kind of talking to the Enforcer, and it's like, and John's right there, so it's like, either one of them could probably stomp you, so. Hmm. Did you learn nothing from talking back to them last time? Oh, uh, that girl that he was, uh, worried about earlier. He's right. If you're just here to be an ass, then leave. We don't want you here. Y yeah, they're actually standing up for themselves. The collective. It's just like the ants from a bug's life standing up to the grasshoppers. We are many, you are the few. Our numbers will surpass you. Kind of deal. But most of them, all of them will get their asses stomped regardless. Because... John is who he is. Um, y yeah, get out of here. But you're not welcome. And Zeke's got that look on his face like, oh, Johnny boy's gonna crack some skulls today. Um, just leave us alone. John's just kind of got like a hmm expression. Up, oh, he's thinking of Claire and the rebellion. Gathering people behind your back. Just look at this nonsense. So Zeke's talking again. A safe house. That's supposed to be open to everyone, but not us. I mean, you literally came in here to start trouble. That John has not said piss all, so it's like he his intentions are not known to them, so how else are they supposed to react? And Zeke here is just the, he's just like that kid with a book of matches. He's like, he's just constantly striking them and seeing what he can set on fire. That That's all he is. He's an instigator. Psst. Yeah, you're, psst. What? I went that way. Pfft. Your favoritism is showing. Uh-oh. Alden is in his sights now. Uh-oh. Well... What do we have here? He's grabbed Alden by the scruff of his neck and is holding him up. You're the same kid from yesterday. What was it that you told us again? Uh, something about not being part of the safe house and having no intention to join it. Oh boy. So what do you have to say for yourself? Because clearly that was a lie. I think John might actually intervene because it's like, now you're just beating up a kid for no reason i know that's horribly hypocritical would coming from john in that case but i could still see because john hasn't really said anything like this this is like the quietest he's been so let's see here okay you've dropped him on the ground oh you dropped him in front of john okay seraphina's up it looks like she might do something i don't know what she would be able to do I mean, she knows martial arts and stuff now, but they were also taught to her by John, who was the better one. John, what are you going to do? Alden is just kind of like, I'm dead, aren't I? P please don't hurt me. I'll quit the safe house for good. P please, I, I mean no harm. I, I wasn't trying to offend you. John just keeps staring. Hmm... Shut up. Oh. You fucking liar. Oh, well, here. Goddamn, John. <sighs> I knew he would be triggered. It's because it's like, you were gathering people behind my back. He really hates liars. So, and just big ol' kick to the side of the head, and it seems to have drawn quite a bit of blood. Seraphina's like, what are you going to do? You're going to act? John! 
And he's like, oh. hmm, that's enough. She looks like she's in like good striking pose to just try to backhand it. <laughs> I don't think that would happen, but it's just the way her hand's drawn. It makes me think of that. And that's the end of it. Okay. Alrighty. Overall, interesting. And like I said, I kind of called it. It was like as soon as Blake left the room, trouble was bound to brew. I did like the whole like notion that uh, Serafina wanted to play the game that John had taught her, and then John shows up. I thought maybe there could have been like a, a weird connection they could have helped establish there. Um, you know, like maybe she she plays a game with him and it's like hey if if you win we disband this group and you can easily just beat us up if you want but if i win you leave us alone as long as we are in this room you are not to touch it fair and be like hmm i could just beat you all up now and still play or not play at all i don't care I was like, hmm, fair point. But that's not the John I know now, is it? I still would do it. Yes, yes, she would. But anyway, um, but yeah, I, I that would have been a cool revelation. But maybe not. I mean, might still play out. Who knows? Because, I mean, why bring that up if it's not going to have any level of significance other than to be quick little flashback of better times so so yeah that that's what i'm thinking is going to happen now also then we have the whole thing with blake uh will he take the booster like i assume he's probably going to hold on to that because that's going to be used by somebody be it him or somebody in the collective friend group if not like, if he tries to just throw it away and somebody finds it and then they figure out what it is, that could be a problem as well. Because what if someone, like, who's, like, really good at chemistry at the school, like, starts, like, trying to replicate it and makes, like, an off-brand of it and then they start selling it all to the renegade jokers and then it's like, we have this bigger problem that they were already having. Except now it's evolved. And it's like, yeah, that that would actually be something that maybe John would then start to enforce against. And that could be an interesting turn, but that's highly unlikely either. Um, actually, the whole, no, the whole notion of it is, like, someone else finding it, that one makes sense. But then the whole, like, someone replicating it because they're good in chemistry class, eh, this isn't breaking bad. So... Um, but yeah, that's at least an idea. But yeah, I, I figured something was going to happen as soon as Blake left the room. Uh, but yeah, and obviously Zeke stirring the pot as always, because Zeke, the ass. Uh, John was being not so bad this chapter until he said to shut up and everything, but... And then the kicking. I mean, I think he was kind of filling out the whole note, the whole thing, like, to see if they were actually doing it. Which is what I think should have happened, like, you know, several chapters ago. You know, like, check it out. Even if he did it, like, covertly. You know, with, like, someone who has, like, invisibility or super speed or, like, some kind of, like, x-ray vision or something where he's spying on them where they don't know. And then from there, you know, he makes his decision if he really wants to destroy the club or not. But that hasn't really happened. But also, he's doing exactly what Remy wanted him to do, and that was like, come and check out the place. Everyone is welcome. Zeke being probably the one exception because he's an instigator. John, they couldn't really do anything against him if they tried. So him showing up, they just kind of have to accept that. But yeah. Um, so yeah. It, it's something that should have happened already, and then he would realize no one is doing anything to turn against him. But 
you know, the whole, like, he's seeing people stand up to him, combined with, uh, uh, Alden lying, you know, it's like, oh, I'm not part of that club, and it's like, and it's like, well, then what the hell are you doing here, kind of thing, and it's like, you lied, and then kicked to the side of the face. I mean, that was really harsh. I mean, it's a simple lie, and he was doing nothing, so it's like, what, what the hell, John? But this is the kind of John persona we have nowadays, so, but yeah, anyway, overall, good, good chapter, good setup for a couple little tangents that could happen down the way, you know, like a potential card game for the fate of the club, um, Blyke either taking the booster and then from there, you know, actually fighting John, or maybe he throws it away and someone else finds it, and then the possible things that could happen with that, as I stated before, so all of those could happen. We'll have to wait and see uh, what we uh, will see in the future. Only, um, how do you pronounce her name? Yuru Chan only knows. So uh, we'll have to wait and see. Anyway, let me know your thoughts and opinions on this chapter. Anything I missed, misunderstood, please let me know down below. Check out my other content. See what you like. Suggest things for the future. Links down below for all my social media so you can keep up with my content and have ways to contact me. I stream on Twitch where I do gaming, and I'll tweet it out when I go live. Part of the One Punch Man podcast on Grim Reaper's channel, so go check that out. And as always, thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, Keeshlings. We're going to get a Texas Hold'em battle. It's time to... Texas Hold'em.